Hey everyone, if you upgraded to iOS 18 and already regretting it, you're in the right video because I will show you how to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17 in three methods with just one click. Maybe it's draining your battery, causing app issues, or just feels unstable. Well, today, no need to stress. I've got you covered whether you have a computer or just your iPhone. Let's dive in. First things first, is it even possible to downgrade from iOS 18? The good news is yes. Since iOS 18 is still in beta, Apple is still signing iOS 17, which makes downgrading safe and easy. For those who want the easiest method, let's start with Tenorshare Ryboot. This tool lets you downgrade with no data loss, no iTunes, and without jailbreaking. Here's how you can do it. First, Download and install Tenorshare Ryboot on your computer. Then, connect your iPhone with a USB cable. Open Ryboot, select the iOS Upgrade OSH Downgrade option, and then tap Downgrade. Choose the firmware version you want, which is iOS 17 in this case, and then tap Initiate Downgrade. It'll take a few minutes, but Ryboot will handle the whole process. Once it's done, you'll be back on iOS 17 with no hassle. Method two is for those who don't have Ryboot, but do have iTunes. It's a bit more hands-on, so let's go through it step by step. First, back up your iPhone if you haven't already. Then, connect it to your computer and open iTunes. You'll need to enter recovery mode, and here's how. Quickly press volume up, then volume down, and then hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. iTunes will prompt you to either restore or update. Choose restore and select the compatible backup you made with iOS 17. Once it's finished, your iPhone will be restored to iOS 17. Finally, if you don't have access to a computer, this last method will work for you but it's only for those who have iOS 16.4 or later. Go to Settings, then General, then VPN and Device Management, and find the iOS 18 Beta Profile. Tap Remove Profile and Confirm. Restart your iPhone, and it will now look for the latest public version of iOS, which is iOS 17. Easy, right? And that's it. Three quick and easy ways to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17. Make sure you back up your data before any downgrade to avoid losing anything important. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the stability of iOS 17.